So the Christmas coding challenge for week three is now finished and I'll be setting up the week four challenge at the end of this video. But first I'm gonna go over what I've done for the week three challenge. The challenge was themed around Rudolph or reindeers and in the brief it was to try and be as creative as possible. One area that I want to work on a little bit more is like building little games and just like user interaction, things like that. So I decided to build a little game the idea is that there's carrots falling from the sky and Rudolph has to catch them. Now there's a few things which aren't great and a few things I'm happy with. But yeah, let's uh, have a quick example. So you've got this ready, you have 30 seconds to catch as many. That should be carrots. I did have it as presents originally, but I thought Rudolph catching presents, that would more be like a sleigh trying to catch presents. So I changed it to carrots, but yeah, that should probably be changed. Um, yeah, so update this text, but otherwise it's kind of the same premise. So just click start. I only have it working for arrow keys, which is okay, apart from that, it just doesn't work on mobile phones. So <laughs> it's not ideal. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I'm, I'm actually quite chuffed with the little carrots as well. They look pretty nice. I don't know if you can tell on the video that I'm recording, but there's like a slight orange trail that happens with the carrots and that really frustrates me. I have no idea why that's happening. Ah, oh, man. But I've also got this kind of fake leaderboard going on. I haven't got it storing data anywhere or anything like that. That would be like a nice to have, you know, then you can like compete with friends and stuff like that. But right now I've just got this fake leaderboard where it takes like your score on either pluses or minuses, depending on a random number and, you know, adds uh, a certain amount. So yeah, that's quite nice. I've caught 13 presents. You can try again. You've got the leaderboard highlighting you. Another nice to have feature, which I didn't have time to implement, would it was kind of last minute putting in this leaderboard. But rather than saying you, it would be nice if a user could put in their own name. But overall, I'm like quite happy. I took the snow falling effect from my previous week two challenge. I just thought it looked really nice. But yeah, it was fun uh, using the arrows. I do have it so it increases the speed the longer you hold it down, which can cause a few issues. But I was just playing around trying to get the speed working. So initially I had it as 25 pixels it was moving across, uh, which was very slow. As you can tell, it's just going very fast now. And that also causes an issue with like overlapping with the carrots because that function to check like a collision oh that's um that's not good that's another issue i clearly need to clear out my leaderboard before doing it again oh that's a shame as i said this leaderboard was very last minute so i haven't managed to test it that much there is a little score counter at the top which is nice it would also be quite a good idea to put the like time remaining maybe down in this corner but I'm, I'm quite happy with the game. I, I was learning a little bit. It was quite fun building Rudolph. Yes, he needs a few more features like ears and maybe actually putting a mouth on him. But yeah, it was a nice little task to try and build. The horns, they're not the best. I just used, what did I use? A uh, clip path and polygon. So I just like drew out some horns, which was a little bit challenging to get working nicely. But overall, I'm generally quite happy with this. So that leads me on to the next one. So the next challenge and the final challenge for Codemus is going to be one I'm not actually looking forward to. It is basically CSS art, but I want you to build something that you do on Christmas, I guess. So it could be like a snapshot of what your Christmas morning is like or your Christmas dinner, something along those lines. Like what is your kind of Christmas tradition that you do every day and try and make that. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do like a Christmas morning with my family. So I got to try and somehow create people and yeah, it's going to be awful. Cause I am, let's be honest. I am not a good designer. I am not creative. I can't draw. So this is going to be very, very challenging to try and make this scene from CSS art, it's going to take quite a lot of work. But I am looking forward to it. It shall be good. 
If you're interested in joining this challenge or talking to a few more developers and like-minded people, there is a link to my Discord down below if you want to join that. Pop in, say hello, introduce yourself, and yeah, submit your challenge if you've done it. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. Hope you all have a nice day, and I'll catch you later. Let's have another go. I want to get better. Uh, I want to beat 13. <laughs> the mouse on my screen is really off-putting as well. No, other way, other way. No, I didn't catch it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It would be quite nice if the carrots dropped at like different speeds. Because then that would add a little bit more depth to the game. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, I didn't even get 13. Damn. Yeah, I'm not very good at this game. I'd, I'd like to know uh, what everyone else can do. Comment down below your score. <laughs>